Hi, betting experts. On Wednesday, the 24th of February, first of all, look back at our two bets at Taunton on Tuesday. We move on to Ludlow on Wednesday. The ground on the easy side, a good drying out all the time. The weather forecast set fair. It's a competitive card at a modest level. They've got some decent sized fields. As usual at Ludlow, rewarded for the good prize money they always put on. We start off with our value angle selection in the 155. This is the Fairway Cafe, Novices Handicap Chase, two mile class five, five year olds and upwards, £3,639 on offer to the winner, 11 runners. Most of them have been struggling to be truthful for form, but the one I like is Ben Brody of David Jeffries. The yards had a really good season, um, plenty of winners, plenty of gambles landed. This one, He's one from three over fences. He's improved. He ran really well at Catrick. First time out on his chasing debut at 28 to 1 in a race that's worked out really well. Up on a very strong pace and getting tired there, shaping well behind Disco de Plage, who's Frank the form since. He then got off the mark at Warwick under a good ride from Max Kendrick, coming clear uh, under a positive ride in command on the home turn winning by 10 lengths as a result of that he went up 10 pounds he wasn't so effective at Bangor on atrocious ground went fifth next time but he did plenty on the lead there the pace collapsed he was rang with Snugar and he got very tired improving ground conditions will help him um, I think he'll make all the running here it's a front runner's track Ladlow this is a bad race and he is open to a little bit of improvement over fence even though he is now an 11 year old for our nap of the day we go to the opening 120 this is the proper good dairy Maiden Hurdle, two mile class four, four year olds and upwards, £3,899 on offer, 13 runners, they're a poor lot in the main, most of them are going to need to be going into handicaps before they can win, the one I like is Dr Richard Newland's Olympic Conqueror, now the yard is unusually quiet at the minute to be truthful, he's not had many runners, the good doctor, he very, rarely stays quiet for too long, this one was a very progressive performer for James Fanshaw on the flat, rounding off a promising run of placed efforts when winning at Doncaster, over a mile two in October off a mark of 75 that day he should have no issue at all staying over hurdles he was off for 90 days joined the good doctor unusually easy to back first time out over this course and distance and ran really well despite making a few jumping errors finishing third there behind Calico just getting tired from the last the runner up Grey Falco is a pretty reliable tool the fourth home Balleticon of Kim Bailey had won previously so I think the form is perfectly all right and Olympic Conqueror should be a lot sharper for that initial experience and I suspect he will appreciate the drying ground conditions expected here best of luck on Wednesday betting experts